Welcome back, race fans, to the RTZ Racing Channel, as today I'm once again opening some NASCAR collector cards. Um, this set is a little bit older. Um, by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. It's a 96 <clears throat> Pinnacle Racer's Choice. Um, it's an older brand. Uh, Pinnacle's no longer making cards. Uh, I've been watching some openings of these on YouTube here lately, and I thought it'd be cool to open these up, because you get a really good chance of getting some Dale Earnhardt cards, some Jeff Gordon cards, and a lot of your older racers, obviously. So, I just thought, why not? They were cheap. I said, let's give it a shot and um, see how it goes. Uh, if, give me a second here. Let me open it up. We'll go ahead. We'll look at the odds. Because I know there's some good... Um, I'm not going to say good. There's some cards in here that are harder to find than others. They have actual... Um, okay, well, the odds aren't on the outside. Oh, here we go. So if you look right here, it says the Speedway Collection has 110 cards, which is 1 in 6 packs. The top 10 has a 10-card set, which is 1 in 69 packs. Artist Proof of Speedway Collection, uh, there's 1 in 35 packs, so we should have a chance of getting one of those in this one. Uh, wait, wait, how many are in here? 36 packs. So we should have a good chance of getting one in here. And Up Close with Jeff Gordon is a 7-card set. Um which is 1 in 31 packs, so hopefully we have a chance of getting those as well. And then, of course, the Speedway Collection, 1 in 6. We should get about 6 of those. So, one thing I do know about these cards is they have a tendency to stick together, um, but that is also because they are freaking almost 30 years old. So, don't be surprised if you see me having to pull cards apart or you hear them cracking or anything like that as I pull them apart. I'm going to push this over here. Um, don't mind these cards in the back. These are just uh, some cards I've had for many years now. Uh, I got uh, these two should be in this set. You got uh, this one from Racer's Choice and this one as well. And then this is just an extra card I threw in because two just seemed like a weird number to have sitting back there and three frames up nicely. So let me go ahead and fix my camera angle here. Now, if I do get some nicer cards than what I have now, I'll obviously do what I've done in past videos and replace the ones in the back. So let's go ahead. Let's crack into this. Yep. They're already sticking together. Look at that. Let me go uh, focus in right here. Lock that. These cards may not be in the best shape. So we got driver. Whoops. Ricky Rudd. We got the, it's just a Chevrolet manufacturer cars. That's Joni Machek's Burger King car. Yeah. Those are really sticking. Oh, we got old Rusty Wallace and the Miller Genuine Draft. Man, those are really bad. Oh, well, that's what I get for buying old cards. <laughs> they also did a... I'm pretty sure it was winners for every race. So, like, this one was the Phoenix winner, which they only raced at Phoenix once a year back then. That was Ricky Rudd that year. Ooh. We got Ted Musgrave, hard charger. Mm, that one's really stuck. All right, so we'll take this first one off. Uh, Roush Racing, number 16. That's, again, Ted Musgrave. We got old Jaws himself, Daryl Waltrip. You want to, I guess, a Bush Clash. I'm not sure what that's about, but... And we got Sterling Marlin. Yeah, right there. It sort of ruined the card. But no big deal. Like I said, they're older cards. I've, just from watching other videos, I'm coming to expect this. Yes, I'm not don't know how long this video is going to be. Hopefully it won't be too long. I'm going to try to get through these quickly if the cards will allow me. Um, if I feel like I'm running out of time, I'll split this into two parts. Yeah, these are really stuck. All right, so we got Daryl Waltrip Motorsports. Obviously Daryl Waltrip's card. Car. Oh, that just bent completely. Damn. We got Joe Nemechek. Well, okay, we'll take the card off the back because it's easier. We got Derek Cope, winner of the 1990. <clears throat> Daytona 500. Oh, if I get a Dale Earnhardt one, I hope it's not as sticky as these. John Andretti. Okay, I see what it is. It's um, These are showing who was in the Bush Clash that year. Because uh, in 95, he won a pole. At, I think it was, I don't even tell you. I'm trying to look at the picture here. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't say. It probably does on the back. Ah, that one bent. Bobby Labonte. Well, this was worth a shot. Like I said, I didn't pay a whole lot for these. 
Bill Elliott's car. Okay, that one came out pretty nice. I don't see anything wrong or bent. So we got our first Dale Earnhardt card of the pack, Intimidator. Oops. That's really nice. I like that. He's got that big old mischievous grin on his face. Put old Dale over there. And if I can get this off of here without ruining a card. And the 1995 winner at North Wilkesboro, which pretty cool card to pull considering NASCAR is going back to North Wilkesboro this year for the All-Star Race. And I think I heard the truck race was going there. Not 100% sure. I'd have to recheck that. So it's looking like just because I'm running, already running long on time, I'm already five, almost six minutes in. I've only opened two packs. Uh, Pinnacle wants your opinion. Well, too bad they're not in business anymore. Oh, that, that's nice. Right there behind it. Come on, don't, don't bend. There we go. Put that over there. Then we got Mark Martin. I'm going to hold my hands down a little lower. Uh, we got a checklist with Mark Martin on front and his, uh, I'm guessing that's his Bush Grand National fire suit. And we got the 95 champion, Jeff Gordon, right there. It's a nice card. Didn't get too much damage on it, so put that one here. Those are pretty much the cards I'm really looking for, are the, the um, Jeff Gordons and the Dale Hearts. Bobby Labonte out front. Man, hairstyles were wild back then. Look at his wife's hair. <laughs> Oof. Ricky Rudd in the Bush Clash. And the last card is old Swervin Irvin. Ernie Irvin himself. All right. That pack went a little quicker. There we go. All right. So, we got Bobby Allison Motorsports. That's Derek Cope's car right there. Ted Musgrave. Rockingham winner in 95, um, Ward Burton. Got some damage on there from the car that was on front. Ah, it just sounds terrible. Ted Musgrave, hard charger. Yeah, I'm not going to even try to pronounce that, but uh, early Haas racing. Uh, John Andretti. Ted Musgrave. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of Ted Musgrave in here. Bush Clash, Sterling Marlin. Looks like he won a pole award in 95. And driver Ricky Red. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we got manufacturer cars. It's a Ford. Whoops. Desk's a little unstable right now. A second, there we go. It's going to be uh, John Andretti's car. Oh, that's nice right there. Look at that Dale Earnhardt car. Look at that smile. Look at that man right there. Those freaking gargoyle sunglasses he's got on. Mm. Okay, can I get this off of here without it damaging the car? Okay, I'm going to try to come back to it. So we got Dale Jarrett. With his iconic mustache. Ted Musgrave, Bush Clash. Powerhouse, Sterling Marlin. Nemco Motorsports, that's uh, uh, Joe Nemechek. There we go, 95 champion, Jeff Gordon right there. That's pretty cool. Alright, come on card. Don't damage it. Ah, okay. It took a little bit off the back. Oh, man. There was two Dale Earnhardt's back to back. Let me tell you something. In 96, this would have been a killer pack. Because you had two, Je two Dale Earnhardt's and a Jeff Gordon. Back to back to back. Just sucks that this one got a little bit of surface damage on it from that card in front. But either way, I'm a collector of cards. So I'm going to hold on to those. All right. There we go. And throw that. All right. We got Joe Gibbs Racing. That would be Bobby Labonte. Man. Rick Mast. 
We got Brett Bodine. All right, I got two that are trying to come off together here. Let's see if I can. Damn. Ooh. Oh, good thing I already had that card. Ted Musgrave. Rick Mast on the Bush Clash card. Kale Yarborough Motorsports. That's right. Kale Yarborough used to own a race team. Uh, that was uh, Jeremy Mayfield. I forgot who drove that card for a second. Hmm. Mark Martin, race winner at Charlotte. Uh, um, I think that was the 500 mile race. I don't think that was the Coke 600. And uh, Ted Musgrave, hard charger. Man, I tell you what, like I said, Ted Musgrave's got a lot of cards in this set for a guy that didn't do much in his Cup Series career. I mean, I wouldn't say he was a field filler because he definitely. You know, he was a competitor in some races, but. All right, Bobby Allison Motorsports, up there at Cope. Oh, we got old Rusty Wallace again. We'll go to the back one here. Sterling Marlin, Bush Clash. I feel like we've seen this in this exact same pack one time before. Uh, John Andretti. Let's see here. Sterling Marlin, Powerhouse. Oh, okay. That's a nice card. That I think that's one of the artist proofs. That's a David Green. Um, I don't see anything. I'm not sure what this one is. That's nice. The centering, however, is terrible. Look at that. I mean, obviously back then there wasn't as much. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. But uh, I'm looking for the words and it's escaping me. But, all right, so we got Rusty Wallace. Oh. And that destroyed the Ward Burton card, which I already had. And Ted Musgrave. We're averaging about one Ted Musgrave card a pack right now. I will say, I probably will not be buying this product again just for the sake of the condition of the cards. I did watch a video from a few months back where the cards, not every card stuck together like this is, but these are pretty bad. Ricky Rudd's car. There he is. There's that card again. Old Dale Earnhardt. A little bit of surface damage from that Ricky Rudd card. Wow, that's really hard to do. Uh, Bill Elliott, driver. Bush Clash card, Ken Schrader. That's when he raced uh, the 25 Budweiser car. Ooh. Official Doyle Ford. Uh, that car just got ruined. Brett Bodine. He drove Lowe's car. We got a Jeff Gordon card here. 95 champion. Whoops, my bad. Put that one right there. We got our Racers Choice Checklist, which is going to have Jeff Gordon on the front and is completely ruined. <laughs> Again, that would have been a nice one to have. I mean, granted, that was a checklist. All right, we're going to probably, I'm going to see how many packs i got left after this. Try to figure out where we're at on the opening wise. Like I said, these are not opening the way I was hoping they would. Robert Yates Racing Ford. That was the first year that they had uh, Dale Jarrett in the 88 car. Sterling Marlin. Richmond winner, Rusty Wallace. In that card just a little bit another intimidator card dale earnhardt some damage there from that card ah it's terrible like I said i expected him to stick but not this much bobby labani bush clash bis bill elliott Oof. Uh. dang jimmy cox official i've seen this card. i think i have this card somewhere but and then we got a ricky craven card here there it is. Larry Hendrick Hedrick Motorsports. I thought it was Hendrick. Oh, wow. Learned something new today. Let me see. I've got quite a few packs here. This might end up being a, close to a 20-minute opener. All right. We got old Daryl Waltrip again. Sterling Marlin again. North Wilkesboro, Mark Martin. 
Okay, that didn't do too much damage to the front of this one. We've got this. We've gotten this one already, but another Dale Earnhardt. Nice. Oh wow! And we got a silver Bobby Hamilton. That's pretty cool. I don't know what one that is. That one is the Speedway collection. It says so right there. Makes me wonder. Oh, okay, so this David Green one was a Speedway collection as well. Those are the ones that I think are one in every six packs. <coughs> uh, Bill Elliott's car. Out front, Bobby Labonte. And Bush Clash, John Andretti. All right, so after I open this one, what I'm going to do for time's sake is I'm going to just open up a bunch of these packs. And I'm just going to, I'll pause the video, I'll open up a bunch of these packs, and then um, we'll just come back and I'll go through everything. This way here, I can save time by breaking these cards apart. Joe Gibbs. Rookie, Johnny Benson Jr. Man, it's hard to believe he was ever really a rookie. Because he was around forever. Charlotte winner, Mark Martin. Hard Charger, Ted Musgrave. Kale Yarborough Motorsports. That's uh, Jeremy Mayfield. Drug addict. Just kidding. Uh, out front, Bobby Labonte. Bush Clash, Rick Mast, and oh wow, that one actually came off really nicely. That didn't have any stick whatsoever. And Jeff Gordon. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video, and I'll be right back, and we'll open up a bunch more of these. All right, so we're back uh, after what well, seemed like an eternity trying to open these. Uh, I've got, I don't know, I think it was something like seven or eight more packs here. We hadn't gone through quite, we hadn't gone through as many as I thought we had. So here we go. We're going to go through these. we got a couple good ones in here and I was able to find a better way to pull these cards apart where it didn't do as much damage. So here we got Lake Speed. Pretty sure he only won one cup race in his career. Charlotte winner, Mark Martin. Kelly Yarborough's J uh, Motorsports. Jamie, uh, Jeremy Mayfield, uh, Bobby Labonte. Hard Charger, Ted Musgrave. Bush Clash, Rick Mast. Driver, Bobby Labonte. Joe Gibbs Racing, number 18. North Wilkesboro, Mark Martin. Dale Earnhardt, another Intimidator card. Elliot Hardy Racing. Bobby Labonte, this card took a hit big time, as did this here John Andretti Bush Clash card. So, yeah, those were pretty bad. Some of them just didn't fare as well as others. Driver Bill Elliott, awesome Bill from Dawsonville. There's that rookie Johnny Benson card again. Daryl Waltrip Motorsports. Terry Labonte, one of our, I think it was one of our first ones we've gotten here. Uh, Dale Earnhardt won. Martinsville got ruined as well. Back to back with a Jeff Gordon 95 champion. That one's in a little better condition. Butch Mock. Motorsports. Who was that? That was Morgan Shepard. That was before he drove the uh, High Ride with Jesus car or whatever it was. <coughs> Excuse me. Elmo Langley. He was a pace car driver for many years. Bush Clash Terry Labonte. Mark Martin's car. Bobby Hamilton's car. Jimmy Cox again. Intimidator Dale Earnhardt. That one came out pretty decent. This Jeff Gordon one did not. Uh, Dover winner. Another rookie Johnny Benson card. Actually, it says driver. <clears throat> Should have been Jimmy Spencer. Yep, Jimmy Spencer's car right there. Smoking Joe racing. Bush Clash, Bobby Labonte. There's Jeremy Mayfield. Richmond winner, Rusty Wallace. That card took a hit. Dale Earnhardt, Intimidator card. Larry Hedrick Motorsports, Ricky Craven. Michael Waltrip, that was when he, I think that was his first season with Sitgo Racing. Excuse me, so I'll be with the Wood Brothers. Dale Jarrett's car. Doyle Ford's card took a, quite a hit there. Bush Clash, Bill Elliott. John Andretti Driver. Rockingham winner, Ward Burton. Hard Charger, Ted Musgrave. I've noticed that all Hard Chargers are Ted Musgraves. And all out fronts are um, Bobby Labonis. So, I don't know why they did them that year and nobody else, but 
might be mistaken. Uh, John Andretti's car, Lake Speed again, Derek Cope's car, Ted Musgrave, hard charger, Sterling Marlin, another Ken Schrader card took a hit, Old DW, Powerhouse Sterling Marlin, BDR Motorsports, Brett Bodine, 95 Champion Jeff Gordon, that check, Jeff Gordon checklist took a hit too. Ted Musgrave. All right, so we got two good cards coming up here. I'm going to hold them off to the side. Uh, so we got the, the Ricky Rudd card. That's not one of the good ones. Um, I don't know which one to show first. I'm going to go with my, put my favorite one last. So first up, we got one of the ones that was, uh, I think it was the odds were one in 31 packs. The Up Close with Jeff Gordon. That is a very nice card. It's got a foil on it. It was right on top of a pack that I opened. Um, it was the top card. <clears throat> it was actually the first pack I opened after I paused the video. So it's got a little bit of the wax from the, the pack on there, but it's still it's in pretty good shape. And then probably a card that is going to take a spot. It's going to replace that dialed in card up there in the background. This one here. Speedway Collections Atlanta winner, Dale Earnhardt card. That is nice. It was in great condition. I don't see really anything wrong with it. I mean, maybe, well, I guess a little bit right here on his uniform. But other than that, that is a nice card that deserves to have its spot up there on the back. So anyway, we'll put it up there. It'll be up there in the next video, the second half of this opening. Because we still have, we, I mean I, still have 18 packs to go. Um, probably what I'll do is I'll do the first half. I'll probably do, let's just say, first five or six cards I'll open um, individual packs, and then I'll pause the video again on the next one, and we'll open all the others. Uh, I'll just do a, a mass opening. So the video is not going to be 23 fucking minutes long here. Oop, sorry, didn't mean to say that. 23 freaking minutes long here. Um, so thank you all for tuning in for this one. I hope you come back for the second half of this, and hopefully we can get maybe another up close or one of those really rare cards that, uh, is, is harder to find. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, please like, subscribe, and um, we will see you next time. Alrighty.